Now these straight couples out here, ugh, y'all. <laughs> like for instance, there's these straight couples, I'm not even gonna say any names, that are faking pregnancies. Good thing over here in the gay side, you can't fake a pregnancy cause I can't get pregnant. All I gotta do is put my mind It's your boy Tyler Duff, and I'm back with another video. Today, as judged by the title, I'm going to be... Where the hell is my phone? Ooh. Today, I'm going to be spilling the tea on some Q&A questions that y'all have asked me. One of the biggest Q&A questions that I got is how I feel about other YouTube couples in the YouTube couple scene, gay-wise. Um, a little background history on me. I used to talk a lot of shit about YouTube couples like... A lot. Russ, are you dying? Russ is sick. I'm sorry, y'all. He has kennel cough. Just took him to the vet and he's on meds. Poor baby back there dying. But yeah, I used to talk a lot of shit because I just generally didn't like YouTube couples until I started doing it. And I was like, huh, I actually like this. This is actually kind of fun. Make your money, sis. You know what I'm saying? That is that. Now, I do have a list of people who specifically asked me about these certain YouTubers. So I'm going to give my opinion on these YouTubers. Meek and Ryan. I actually really, really, I actually really, what is in my eye? I actually really, really enjoy Meek and Ryan a lot. I generally think that they are wholesome. I like their energy. I like their vibe. I love their relationship. I do think that they're very underrated. And I also think that they're very humble and I hope to collaborate with them sometime in the near future. You know, if schedules work, you know, we have, with Trump being president, ain't nothing cheap no more. You know what I'm saying? Jeremiah and Will. Honestly, I fuck with them too. I do wish they uploaded a lot more though. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I like them, I like their vibe. Um, I, I talk to Will like every now and then like message him on like Instagram and stuff like that. Same with like Meek and Ryan. Like I actually like, I enjoy them and I enjoy their vibe as well. I love their relationship and how they do things. Oh, I'm just looking at all the like relationships and I'm like, Mm, y'all are so cute. Y'all are cuter than straight couples. Like <laughs> Jalen and Cardo. Now, a lot of people ask me how do I feel about Jalen uh, and Cardo. Cardo, I actually really, you know, I enjoy them too. And I think that this couple is the most misunderstood couple. I watched Jalen back when, I don't even know if a lot of y'all know this, but I watched Jalen back when he did like reaction videos on YouTube. Like it's it's been a minute, you know what I'm saying? But I do think that they're cute and I love their hustle, but a lot of people always are like, Jalen's so cocky. And like he has like a lot of like bad attitude and stuff like that and da, da, da. But I'm like not everybody's gonna have the same attitude, you know Sometimes you need to gloat about your success especially from where he came from and how he was so confined to act one certain way and so confined to be put in a box due to his homophobic uh, family. Like, hell yeah, I'll be walking around my nails done, hair done, everything did. You fancy, huh? You fancy, huh? Hey! You, you know, go ahead and do, do your thing, you know what I'm saying? It rubs people the wrong way a little bit based off of the cockiness. You're just mad. <laughs> Zed and Ray. Um. Y'all really want to know. <laughs> Boy, mm -hmm. the both of them. <laughs> There's a reason why I'm not doing this video with Anthony, because I'd be like, Anthony, you wanna have a foursome? Let's go, let's go hop on some dick, girl. <laughs> Y'all, I was supposed to be doing this video, by the way, with the um, Popeye's chicken sandwich. Y'all, I've been trying to get this Popeye's chicken sandwich for a whole week, and tell me why Popeye's have just been like, sold out. Motherfucking Popeye's chicken sandwich! How are you a chicken place and you run out of chicken? That don't make no sense, sis. There is no reason why. I should go there and you'd be like, we're not gonna have no chicken until tomorrow. Especially being a large chain restaurant like you are. Come on now. How you gonna at and subtweet Chick-fil-A, but Chick-fil-A ain't running out of their chicken sandwiches? Do I hear cricket? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I um, generally wish that the gay community also supported each other a lot more than what they do now. Um, now, granted, you know, YouTube and how YouTube works, it's hard making money as a black content creator on YouTube as it would be a white person. It's also harder for a gay YouTuber to make more money as a straight person would as well. It's all politics and stuff like that. But I do believe like if the gay community did come together and collaborate and work together a lot more, especially black creators, we would be very successful. There's a lot of black creators nowadays um, that are openly gay who are killing it. You know, like there's definitely this big wave that I enjoy seeing and that I'm very, very, very proud of. So, 
kudos to everybody, but we all gotta support each other more and stop having differences because there are some things behind the scenes like one person don't like somebody and another person don't like somebody. I'm not gonna say all that because that's people's business, you know what I'm saying? And Tyler LaDuff is not trying to get sued. I genuinely love doing videos with Anthony and I love seeing other people doing videos with each other. Um, there's still those couples out there that are just cringy ASF and just are so annoying and people that just do it just for money but generally i believe that if you are a gay um couple channel or whatever i generally think that there is true love there because you have to put yourself out there to the world already whenever the world is already against us and i don't feel like there's any money motives there i i believe like you know let's hustle and get our money together but i don't think they're just like i'm gonna pay you like 50 dollars a video and then we go about our separate ways afterwards and then get exposed later on no i don't think it's like that now these straight couples out here oh y'all <laughs> <laughs> like for instance, there's these straight couples. I'm not even gonna say any names. They're faking pregnancies Good thing over here in the gay side. You can't fake a pregnancy because I can't get pregnant yet and The reason why I say yet yeah is because technology is advancing really really fast <laughs> Over here faking pregnancies for views and stuff like that You know like everybody know about the fake pranks and stuff like that that happen every now and then like you know There's like a couple channels that do I, every channel does like the fake and the real pranks all in one like sometimes they like let's plan one and sometimes it's like really caught off guard you know what i'm saying like but bitch faking pregnancies faking deaths and having babies for money russ you want to have some babies for money oh i'm sorry you sleep i'm sorry i forgot you sick but yeah uh -uh, i can't be doing all that and also these people that have been scamming out here these YouTubers that were scamming iPhones, I will never forget that. These YouTubers over here scamming iPhones. Karma's coming back on them, you know what I'm saying? And then there's all these YouTubers that just, oof, just, I, ugh, Lord, y'all. Especially on the black creator side, like, why can't everybody support each other? Why can't we be like the white YouTubers where they support each other through thick and thin and they making bank, like making money? So I'm talking about good production quality videos, making they. Uh, music videos, their diss tracks, their blase blase blase, they're all this. Like, we need to do better. We need to dance together and we need to do a lot better than what we are doing now. And that's the real Kiki the C T. That's my T. Now y'all got my side and y'all got my T. If y'all like this video, give it a big thumbs up and leave some comments in the comment section below. It actually felt good doing a sit down and talk video with you guys because I've been doing like a lot of vlogs and you know, all that type of stuff. So this was a lot of fun. I hope to do some more soon. So, yeah. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces.